Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, things are coming along so smoothly and very nicely because we are again able to develop this property with this uh, beautiful flowers. And I'm so happy because these creeping plants that we locally call Mani Mani is now creeping and it beautifies this particular area. And we also have there some uh, gumamelas and also this uh, bugambilia and many others. I've been personally taking care of them every morning and this is the kind of life that I really dream about. To become self-sufficient in terms of food, in terms of this facility where I can do exercise in the morning. That's what I told you in my past videos that I'm preparing for my retirement. And I'm so happy because once more, we were able to develop some portions of this uh, property. And you will see down here that the Bermuda are really very alive now. They are green and they're creeping up. And I'm very positive that in the next couple of months, we're gonna be you know, witnessing them already covering this area. Well, in the future, one of the contents that we're gonna make is the actual transfer of our biggest snake. And then maybe if we can already make a cage for Gino, we can also do that. And also we're gonna be transferring our goats. And these are the things that I have to do. And this entails effort. This entails a lot of energy and even money to be able to transfer all the animals here. Guys, this is the new site of the cage for our parakeets and we are scheduled to get them as soon as we can uh, be able to complete this one and maybe you're interested about the materials well we did not spend uh, so much money about this because we used the old materials we carefully dismantled our cage right there at the old farm and we carefully carry them right here and we recycle them that's why i did not spend a lot of money for this and uh, you will see that this is quite big compared to the old cage that they are in right now and this is gonna be made of 
screen right here and then I plan to have a, a double door over here and then of course we will put some galvanized sheets on top and since the parakeets are small birds uh, we're gonna be putting some screen right here so that they will not escape so these are the development that I can show you and I'm so happy about this and I'm so thankful for your views and thanks a lot for the input that you have put in in the comment section in the comment box and I'm so happy to read all those comments And one good news that I can report to you is the African lovebird breeding. And I'm so happy because they used to the presence already of the human beings. This is a busy area here. And at first they had really that big adjustment. But now they really have a comfortable behavior. And they are not anymore scared by our presence here. And I would like to uh, get inside and we will make some updates of what is happening right here. There are lots of good things that happened over the past few days. And I should say that this is a blessing in disguise because we were forced to transfer all the birds here and there are positive developments that are actually occurring here. Number one is that these uh, African lovebirds are now used to human beings and they can just get inside in this cage anytime without them scared. And they are used to us already because we frequently uh, come in and clean this area. And also, I tried my best to produce or to use them with several types of food I already gave them with hard-boiled egg as what you have suggested we also give them this moringa and we tried also to give them with a sola and even this water spinach and now we give them this uh, carrots as their breakfast and late in this afternoon I, I believe that this is gonna be consumed because they really love to eat varieties of food and also we have the seeds here and they are not anymore dependent so much on the seeds because they're eating fruits they're even eating apples and one good thing that i have observed when you're gonna personally take care of them is the activities that they're gonna show us meaning that they are living in a normal life here in a busy uh, corner and i am seeing them already you know nesting I put some hay or some uh, sticks right here and they were so busy then carrying all this uh, hay inside the nest box. I also have spotted them breeding. And also, 
I am so fascinated about the kind of attitude that this uh, African leopards is actually showing us because they really are very emphatic to each other. They kiss every now and then and they exchange food and they are so happy. This is a clear epitome of a loving nature. What I mean is that as human beings, we can also get some lessons out of the behaviors of this bird. And another good news that I can tell you is the fact that they already have laid their eggs. And that is really a very good development because they have adjusted with this new environment and they already have laid their eggs. I don't want to disturb them because uh, there are actually three boxes now that are filled with eggs and they are sitting on it and they are incubating and I hope that in the next couple of days we're gonna be showing you the actual hatching of the eggs of this African lovebirds. So this is really a blessing in disguise I should say. And another good thing that I can share with you is that our staff have learned to love these birds because they don't have experience about how to take care of them but we're always uh, in contact and we're always in communication especially when I am out I'm giving them instructions on what to do and this gives us now the positive result so we're gonna go now to the quails and we will see what is happening over there And I'm so happy because the issue about the cats had been solved already. And I am so thankful for the comments that you have put in. We actually solved the problem by just using a very friendly method. I understand that some of you have suggested that we have to kill the cats. We have to, you know, um, electrocute these cats. We have to poison them. We have to, you know, uh, make some drastic move in order to protect our quails. But the uh, majority of you suggested that why not use the dog instead? Instead of killing the cats, we will use the more friendly and more natural way. And I have thought of my pet dog. I named her Anna. And this dog had been my favorite pet in the farm. That's why I decided to just bring her here in the, in the house to have a special mission. And that is to guard our quails. So let me introduce to you this very active and very lovely dog. Anna, can, can you go out? Go out? Go out. Okay. Okay, you have done a good job. Well, so far so good. This dog has been so instrumental and in is driving away the cats because she really hates cat. And this is one good positive attitude of this dog because this is very hyper and every time that the cats will attempt to attack the squirrel, this dog will bark and she will drive away. She will drive away the cats and the cats are so scared and also the quails are so scared of her. That's why I said that in due time the quails will be used to her presence here. Eventually the quails will understand that they need this dog in order to protect themselves. So these are the positive things that are occurring right here and I would like you to meet uh, Anna come here come here <laughs> see that this is just a small dog oh very small very healthy and she's due to have a haircut <laughs> this is a nice dog very hyper and I hope that we can breed also this uh, dog She's a mixed breed of Shih Tzu and the Poodle and this is how she looks like. <laughs> Can you say hi to your friends out there? <laughs> yes, and uh, we will cage you because you might be able to eat some of dirty foods out there. Okay, and we are releasing her every night to do a special mission 
which is to drive away the cats. Wow, that's it. Don't make noise. I'm still on my video. Just relax. And you will eat your food later. Okay. And you guys can see that I have here live food. This is Dapnya and we will now feed them. Okay. And there is a warning also about this Dapnya because they might be carrying the bacteria. And we have to be very observant about their behavior because if they gonna start to die, some of them will die. Of course, you will immediately treat them with antibiotics. And uh, right here, I have this uh, bunch of this Dapnya and this is now very available in the swampy area especially during rainy season and if you would like to learn about how to breed or culture this one I have a good video about this since that we are getting this Dapnya anywhere and anytime you can just do it so I just have uh, forgone the you know the breeding of this Dapnya but those techniques that I have told you in my videos are really very beneficial and useful if you are you know running short of this food you can just breed them and now we will give them this lab food we'll see down there that there are thousands of them are already getting big and I'm just you know adding this uh, water every day I cannot yet put some submersible pump because they're too tiny and they cannot be stuck inside the submersible pump and uh, this is the reason why we are adding water every day in order to make the water fresh and habitable so that they will not die maybe you will also ask what's the good food for the fry well we have so many commercial food but sometimes it's really very costly that i have discovered a very efficient and very economical and very effective food which is the wheat germ also what is good is we have again extended the plantation of our water spinach i think 90 percent of the styrofoams are already been planted with this uh, the seeds of this uh, water spinach and this is my dream to be able to produce our own food for human consumption and even for the food of our lovely pets right here And I would like to ask you if uh, you are not subscribed to this channel and if you like videos like this, I invite you to please subscribe and also hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now. And of course, I would like to thank you all for those who have become members to our channel. Thanks a lot. And for those of you who became our subscribers, thank you a lot. I'm really very happy about your support, about your comments and your suggestions. I also have learned a lot from you. Please stay with this channel. Stick around because we're going to be 
showing you more exciting videos especially during the transfer of our snake our ostrich and even these goats and also in the development of our new farm which is located just near to this house and see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World